Hello and welcome back to another video for us, JDM. Behind me is my 1998 Land Cruiser Prado, or we call her Prado here in uh, Australia. Now she passed 25 years old, it means she's on retirement, she's got uh, uh, club rego, so I can only drive her for certain uh, days. Now she passed also 357,000 kilometer. Um, she's 3.4 liter petrol, not diesel. Uh, so she's got the 5VZ engine, and um, those engines know when to go forever, as long as you look after them. Um, now let me tell you about this car. It was purchased about three years ago from online auction. When I brought her, she had a very bad misfire and it turned out to be one broken spark plugs and since then once I changed it since then she was beautiful she never let me down drives good she's very smooth no overheat no blow by no funny sounds from the engines just what you expect from uh, those engines now in today's video I will be doing the 100,000 kilometers because she's due already so and, and a bit more so all the belts include timing belts, gasket, cold and hot side, all the vacuum hoses, rocker cover, gasket, oil, water pump, everything you see. Now you might think that she's not worth, uh, that's Theo by the way, now you might think she's not worth uh, spending this much money but for a reliable car like this, I'll tell you, yes, it's worth it because she never lets you down as long as you look after her. Now let's get into them and yeah, stay tuned. All right, so the first step is to take the radiator off because um, it will be easier and also I cannot remove the timing belt cover off unless I have this hose off. So at the moment I'm draining the uh, the um, coolant fluid so I'm gonna remove this I have uh, my um, timing cover off and then now we have more access to uh, what I want to do So you got a mark right at the bottom. Um, so that's where the 
the harmonic balancer seats and you got two marks here for both cams and that's about it and this one is alternator So my impact gun cannot get that main uh, balance uh, bolt. So what I'm gonna do is I just have to do some. Uh, I just have to be creative. So I put my um, breaker bar there with my socket. So I'm just gonna stop the car to loosen that bolt. It's not the best way. It is dangerous, but um, that's all I got to do. Alright, here you have it, another Toyota product that has done 130,000. Look at inside of this. This is beautiful. Alright guys, so finally everything is off the uh, front of the engine, which is the timing belts and tensioners and uh, water pumps and brackets and uh, sensors and whatever it was. Anyway, so I had a hard time getting the this tension off. Uh, so it sits right like that here. You can get the front bolt off easily, not the back one. Now, I did a quick search and I saw some people um, did a bracket like this to press the piston. So the piston is already pressed. I'm not going to use it, but I just pressed it just to have it there. So to press the piston while the tension is sitting there. So technically you not end up using your new tensioner. You do that if you want your use your old tensioner or some other people took that bracket off with the aircon compressor and that's another big job because it's very tight right there so two big jobs there now what I did was the bolt that sits at the back right there which is uh, this one here okay it's hard getting your socket in because the bolt's actually not sitting straight. So there is a really tiny gap, let me show you. There's a really tiny gap right here, okay, for this bolt here. Now, the bolt does not sit straight like that. So you can put your socket in and then undo it. The bolt, it sits in an angle, which if you want to do it, you don't have enough leverage for your tool. So you end up ruining the bolt like me. But what I did was, I used, <laughs> I used super glue and I put my socket right directly into the bolt. It sat, it's kind of in an angle like that. Okay, and let it sit for a bit to hold in and then I use this tool. Here you go. 
and you technically undo it in this angle and I had a hard time because every time I put that because it's tight it keep hitting the engine and the bracket and falls in the side and what I did was I put a tape around it in this shape and then I undo it right from here you see that that gap there right from here and I'll call it success now the next part will be getting all the seals off so one two here and the three that came with the kit so getting those off and I pretty much done with taking everything off the front of the engine so I can then put all the new parts in or I can take the top intake or whatever that I want to replace here and then replace everything back together Alrighty, so I couldn't get the cams off, the bolts are too tight, I have to get my impact gun, uh, someone bottled it. Anyway, so uh, the next step will be getting the, the, the base uh, bottom part of the intake. So this intake, it comes in three pieces, top pieces, middle, and this one here. And this one is where the fill rail is sitting. Now I'm going to get this off because it's really nasty here, I need to clean all around here and the rocker cover, gonna clean everything and then start putting everything back. Alrighty, here you have it. So it, it is a bit messy. Yes, uh, it's 25 years old, so I'm not gonna say anything. Um, I'm gonna replace those gaskets, obviously. Um, uh, clean up everything I can here. It doesn't look too good. Um, and then with the intake, um, same thing here. Cleaning the um, the intake, which is the this is the main piece that sits right at the bottom. It doesn't look good, so I'm gonna remove the injectors. Uh, so this is the main part that I really need to clean um, The gasket did have a leak. So if you look at this bolt here, which I haven't taken off That tells you that that gasket had leak um, Anyway, so I'm gonna do that clean both parts here the intake parts Rocker cover and then started putting everything back 